Welcome to project two of Hacking with Swift. Most of this series has a very simple structure. We make an app, we make a game, and then we look at a particular iOS technique. This is project two, so it's time to make your first game. Now, when some people hear that a tutorial is about a game, they skip on, but that's a mistake and I'll tell you why. The reason I mix up apps and games in Hacking with Swift is because it forces your brain to use all your skills in different ways and different contexts which in turn helps you learn more thoroughly. At the same time, one of the keys to learning is to use what you've learned several times over in various different ways, so your new knowledge really sinks in. The purpose of this project is to do exactly that. It's not complicated. It's about giving you the chance to use all the things you just learned so you really start to internalize it all. That being said, there's still lots to learn. We'll look at asset catalogs, buttons, layers, actions, random numbers, alerts, and more. But if you skipped project one, thinking it'd be all sorts of history or other such tedium, you were wrong. This project will be very hard if you have not already completed project one. So we've got lots to get through. Go ahead and launch Xcode now. From the Xcode welcome screen, go ahead and choose create a new Xcode project. Now choose iOS, single view app, then press next. For the product name, call this thing project two, then press next and create on your desktops just fine. 